Hello, I'm Nina Svetkova. I come from Bulgaria and I teach at Sofia University. I train English language teachers who have graduated as English language teachers and are already working as such. So this is in-service teacher training. On the Web 2.0 ERC platform, I did several courses. One of them was about um, introducing teachers to Web 2.0 in general and to the possible uses of Web 2.0 in education. Um, I had two versions of this course, in English and in Bulgarian, and then I had a special one uh, aimed at English language teachers, and then uh, one for secondary school students, which was called Intercultural Communication, um, People, Places and Ways. Well, the platform is easy to use in the first place. It looks nice, I mean the graphic design is good. Um, it's easy to get oriented about the different tools and wh where you can find them. And also it really supports uh, teachers in building up their own courses. The tools um, I used on these courses were chosen together with my colleagues because of the special needs we identified for Bulgarian educational contexts. Mainly these were a blog, a wiki and an online forum. We also incorporated tasks about social bookmarking. These tools, like any other Web 2.0 tools, are about collaboration and sharing in the first place. And because of the huge educational value of collaboration and sharing, we chose these particular tools. And on the one hand, the platform itself is suitable for supporting this kind of collaboration among students, among teachers and students, and student-teacher relationships. But um, on, on the other hand, uh, it is very much related to the, to the way a course is designed and to the choice of tasks that uh, a course creator attaches to the different uses of these tools. So, the sole presence of a wiki, a blog, a social bookmarking tool or a forum in itself is not enough to ensure that um, our students will collaborate while doing a task. We need to, to think very carefully about how we formulate a task and what instructions we give them so that um, this potential of Web 2.0 is um, actually employed in classroom situations. Well, in short, I'd like to say that uh, the Web 2.0 ERC was a very rewarding experience and that it appealed to a wide audience of teachers. Um, we've tried it out with primary teachers who use it with primary students. We've tried it out with secondary uh, teachers um, who are science teachers, for example, or history teachers or languages teachers. And all of them managed to create different types of courses using these um, four categories of Web 2.0 tools and that they did a wonderful job on their own courses and with their students. So, what I can say in, in, in short is that um, it's really exciting to use such a platform and uh, that students like it and that teachers also start liking it once they're introduced to it and they start using it in their jobs.